everybody, and welcome to Let's Talk Kentucky. I'm your host and moderator, Sherelle Roberts, and I'm joined by the Let's Talk team. It's Susan Mills, Kim Dixon, and Lisa High. <laughs> it's Thursday, everybody. All right. Oh, I know. Man. Getting close to the weekend. Oh, yeah. Yes. Lots of good activities going to be happening on this weekend. Mm -hmm. And our guest is going to talk all about that later in the show. So I'm really excited. Exciting, yeah. too. Oh, awesome. The weather's just nice. It's just mm -hmm. time to get out there. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yesterday was kind of dreary. My mm. energy level was like, whoa. Yeah. And now, today, <laughs> I'm good. I'm you good. are good. <laughs> <I'm> good. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get right into the talk of the town. We like to start every show with something we call the talk of the town. And the talk of the town is this kind of epic political fight that is unfolding between the K Kentucky Department of Education and the Kentucky Legislature. So, the Kentucky of Education knows its ABCs and its conjunctions and the word and and or and how to use it. <laughs> and that's what's starting the fight. So they are using the word or to potentially skirt the intent of a new law that restricts the teaching of comprehensive sex education and the discussion of gender identity and sexuality. The law, Senate Bill 150, was passed with a clause that said schools should restrict sex ed or gender identity teaching. Lawmakers said they meant sex ed and gender identity teaching. But they didn't write it that way. <laughs> and so now, Oops. Kentucky Department of Education is like schools. You can do either or because that's what they wrote. Ooh, this is spicy. <laughs> spicy, when spicy, When you go spicy. with what I meant to say, well, say what you mean. Mm. Uh, words matter and 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 or are two very separate words. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Editors, uh, people who go over things, people who look mm. over things to make sure everything's accurate. And I would say that a bill, you would want that to be as accurately worded as possible. Yeah, I would mm -hmm. think so. <laughs> well, I worked in Frankfurt for a while. You'd be surprised how laws are made. But on this, I think that the subject matter, when we're talking about comprehensive sex education and discussions about gender and gender identity, I am pro comprehensive sex education because I understand what comprehensive sex education is. Comprehensive sex education starts as early as one years old going up. It begins with the discussion of what's a good touch and a bad touch. And that's a talk that you should be having with your kids when they are at the age where you don't want them to fall prey to a molester or a pedophile. That's early, early. That's comprehensive sex education. Your body parts puberty, when you might start your menstrual cycle if you're a girl. That's all comprehensive sex education. It can be age appropriate, and I do think it should be taught by parents and in schools. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, and I don't, I don't necessarily agree with that. I, we had already talked mm -hmm. about this. I do think that that should be left up to the parents at that young of an age. Um, I do believe, though, that it should start in middle school and, um, and with gender identity, definitely in high school. I think that that's a time uh, for folks to talk about that. I kind of piggyback on, on you, Lisa. I believe that those are kind of conversations that we should. Now, taking aside, like, the no-no zone and things like that, mm -hmm. I think that can, that can be touched on in school. Mm -hmm. However, like, the gender identity, things like that, I believe that should happen at home um, based on when the child is ready mm -hmm. um, and every parent knows or caregiver knows their child better mm -hmm. than anyone mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so yeah. so this conversation god we can go on all day we still got <laughs> a little bit of time but the gender identity conversation i think because of how it's gotten politicized recently mm -hmm. we think about it only as non-binary identities but we start teaching kids about gender identity the minute they are born we tell little girls, you're a girl, you wear pink, or mm -hmm. you wear this, you're a little boy, you wear blue. So we're talking to them about gender identity from the minute they are born, really. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, and that's reinforced in school, boys line, girls line, you know. So, I mean, the discussions about gender identity are happening in school, and so now, we're saying you can't have those 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 conversations. How do you even do things like, hey, you should be going to the boys' bathroom. You should be like these are things we mm -hmm. have to talk about. But we only get mad if it's like non-binary gender yeah. identity. Mm -hmm. That's, That's true. true. Mm -hmm. I, gosh. There's so many different angles. There's a there lot is. of nuances. Look at like there is. This. And there that's is. why I think all of these need to be looked at by both sides. Yeah. Mm. So you're saying folks yeah. who uh, kind of ascribe to the only binary gender identity um, kind of school of thought and then folks who say that gender identity is a social construct and there's maybe more than two ways to express it. Correct. <sighs> well, and I think this is where um, the Kentucky Department of Education, these school districts, 
need to be working with parents and caregivers to collaborate on things yes. like this. Yes. And I, I don't we think don't necessarily have, that yeah. always happens. Well, they right. just decided to fight with the lawmakers on this one. <laughs> Maybe they should have asked parents. That's a novel wow. idea. Wow, no what a concept. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, everybody, stay with us. Coming up after the break, school book bans are now coming for the Bible. Let's talk about it. Are you tired of trying to make furniture fit into your home and lifestyle? Then we are the store for you. At Perry's Gallery, all of our furniture is handcrafted by Amish artisans. From bedrooms, dining rooms, sofas, TV consoles, or outdoor furniture, you can customize it the way you want it. Every choice is yours for a custom piece, or you can get it now off the floor. Our gallery is full of amazing furniture. You choose. Come see us at Perry's Gallery, 1176 Industry Road. Take a break from home ownership burden and have more freedom to do the things you love. Now is the best time to make the switch to Sayer Christian Village. We are dedicated to providing you with an all-inclusive, independent lifestyle, complete with the care you'll have when needed. Enjoy chef-prepared meals, large common spaces, endless social support, and some of the largest two-bedroom floor plans in the area that make downsizing easy. Contact us today for a limited time move-in special. Sayer Christian Village, a great place to call home. My tip is, the worst lies are the lies you tell yourself. Like smoking isn't that dangerous. You can quit. For free help, call 1-800-QUIT-NOW. K-A-T-S, cats, cats, cats. I'm Marty Casey with Cats Heating and Cooling. If your system stops cooling your home this summer, remember to call Cats for 24-hour emergency service. We know emergencies just don't happen during business hours. Cats will keep your system running smoothly keeping you comfortable all year long. When you need us, we're just a phone call away any time of day. Cats proudly carries day and night HVAC systems. K-A-T-S, Cats, Cats, Cats. Visit online or call today to schedule your free appointment. We get your day started in the right direction. With everything you and your family need to know. Protecting you from severe weather without the hype. We're your friends and neighbors, and we are on your side. On your side. ABC 36, we're on your side. Welcome back to Let's Talk Kentucky. I'm your host and moderator, Sherelle Roberts, and we've got the team here raring, ready to go <laughs> for the countdown Woo. conversation. This is the part it. of the show where we season say we This is the part of the show where we talk about as many topics as we can in six minutes, and they're always spicy. So let's do it. <sighs> Topic number one: the Bible is the holy scripture for millions of Americans, but it is now getting banned, yes, banned, in one Utah school due to its narratives about sex, violence, prostitution, and other themes that one parent, one parent called vulgar in their complaint. The school board agreed and now the Bible is out. Bible bans or these book bans that we had been seeing were mostly being pushed by conservative groups who were protesting LGBTQ or black literature. Now the tables are turning. Everybody who did not see this coming raised their hand. <laughs> this is what I said a couple of weeks ago. Somebody was going to come for the Bible, and here, here we, are. we are. What did they think was going to happen? Yeah. Well, I have a take on this, as I do everything. Um, I think if you're going to allow... Did you like the dramatic glasses? I did! Did you like that? <laughs> Sorry. And yes. I feel like if you're going to allow one religious text, you have to, sorry, you have to allow them all. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Yeah. That's just my thoughts on that. It, it, it makes sense. Yeah. But what if you ban one religious text, then do you ban them all? Well, they're all violent. I, I don't believe in banning books. I, I'm not a believer in that in any way, shape, or form. I think something, and I agree, you know, if you're, if you're going to ban one, you got to ban them all or vice versa. But... What I'm wondering is how, why couldn't we have like a notification if, it, if there's certain books that are controversial, mm -hmm. um, maybe violent or whatever the case might be, sexuality, whatever the case might be. These books um, are, when they're taken out by our children, that we as a parent are notified mm -hmm. that our child is taking that book out. 
And then that way it puts it back on the parents to talk to the child about their reason why they wanted to take that book out or whatever the case might be. Amazing I, idea. Yeah, I love that. I'm kind of piggyback idea. on that. I think it, that is too. Um, just like a, a parent would have to be you know, sent home like a field trip form or something like that, you mm -hmm. know, just at the beginning of the school year, if you are opposed to any kind of, if you have restrictions on certain types of books being checked out by your mm -hmm. child, please let us know because those, those books, when they check them out, the, the student is, relate, is linked to that book in mm -hmm. the computer system. If there's some kind of red flag that mm -hmm. can pop up, then yes. that would be great. Yeah. yeah, I think that would solve a lot of issues yeah. at yeah. this point. Again. Lisa for president. They clearly should have just done this. Um, but, but now we have people banning the Bible. So there we are. All right, number two topic. So the pandemic emergency is over, and that means it's time to go back to work full time. <laughs> or is it? So some workers are saying, I would rather quit than go back to work five days a week. I do not blame them. <laughs> I do not blame them. Oh. God, working from home was like the best time of my life, Susan. I promise you. Uh, you're living your best life? Best <laughs> life. I'm telling you what, corporations can use this as an advantage if they'd like to. So mm. it's it, it could be a great benefit when they're hiring. Say, you know what, if you are performing, if you are hitting all the standards mm -hmm. required, if you would like to work in the office, you can. If you'd like to work from home, you can. Mm -hmm. Or what kind of flex schedule would you like? I think that would be like a huge opportunity. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, I think so too. Makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love that. Mm -hmm. Well, I personally, I mean, I, I did not stop coming into work. The news well, didn't no. stop. So we had to, you know, I had to come in the entire time. Um, and Quite honestly, I question whether or not I would have been able to do the work at home if I had a job like that. I think I would be too scatterbrained. I'd be like working on everything else around the house and not as much focused on my job. But mm. some people are very capable of doing that sure. and doing both um, and being very productive with that. So you know what? If they want to quit their, their corporate job that doesn't allow that and go to a job that does, more power to them. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, I, I think agree. there's been a lot of anxiety coming back to work. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm in an office now, and it's it's not bad anxiety. It's just weird. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's just weird. The idea of having to uh, meetings, <laughs> in-person meetings, and, and putting on pants for those, and all that kind of thing. <laughs> you know? I mean, honestly, what am I going to wear with a shirt? Now I've got 15,000 shirts and one pair of pants. Uh. I mean, Sure. And the, do the pants and still those fit? Like they elastic. Do not fit. Yeah, they're, they're, exactly. <laughs> oh, what do they look okay. like at this point? You know. <laughs> Listen, my my poor husband has COVID shirts. They have holes <laughs> and everything. <laughs> He will not give those up. Oh, oh my God. Shirts. Oh, my shirt. All right, topic three, platonic <laughs> parenting. Okay, this, y'all, you got to wrap your mind around this. Okay, folks decide to parent together, even if they aren't necessarily the biological parent. So, for example, Van Jones decided to donate his biological material to his friend so that she could have a baby. They're not together. They are co-parenting as platonic friends and there are tons of other ways that this could happen and people are doing it kind of as a way to like I guess ease the burden of parenting thoughts I mean I, I get it that this is something that it, it could work it makes sense in some ways you know but what if one of the people gets married what if person a and person B person a gets married mm -hmm. person A's new spouse is like I live here I'm the mom or dad now. Mm -hmm. You know, where does that put person B? Or is that just a blended family? I mean, this does allow for different types of families. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's because we were talking like step parents, right? It, step mom and step dad. That's, that could be that particular situation. That's true. Mm -hmm. But is this a contract or a handshake agreement? Because the reasons like we have marriages, birth certificates, like <laughs> these are things like yeah. that are legal, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So yeah. I think it needs to be legal or it's going to absolutely. Ooh, I'm, you know tricky. what, if it's amicable, I'm all for it. I think it's a great idea mm -hmm. for folks that nece don't necessarily want to jump into a marriage or just haven't found that right person, but yet they found somebody who says, you know what, I'd like a child too, but I haven't found somebody mm -hmm. either. You know, let's do this. And they're both, you know, both good parents to the child. I have no problem with that. I think it'd be healthy, quite honestly. Yeah, sign here. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. Whew. Good job, Lisa. Oh, so proud. Good job, everybody. That was a spicy one, guys. Stay with us. Coming up after the break, our guest has the rundown on a ton of great live music this summer. We'll see you after the break.
ET in Nashville. Our week of country exclusives rolls on with Jelly Roll. Look at your boy, baby. I'm on TV. And CMA Fest co-host Lainey Wilson. Next, ET. Tonight at 7 on ABC 36. It's Champion Windows 70th Anniversary Sale, and we're giving the presents to you. Right now, get 40% off new windows, plus pay nothing for 18 months. And we're giving away $70,000 in our home makeover giveaway. 70 years of designing, building, installing, and guaranteeing Champion Comfort 365 windows direct from our factory to your home. Don't wait. Get 40% off windows today. Call or schedule your free estimate online 24-7 at GetChampionWindows.com. Since 2002, over 100 inductees. More than a million dollars raised for charity. That's what the Kentucky Pro Football Hall of Fame means to the Commonwealth. Come join NFL legends at the Kentucky Pro Football Hall of Fame Purple Jacket All-Pro Dinner Party on June 23rd at the Downtown Hilton in Lexington. Mingle, dine, laugh, and share memories with NFL greats for an unforgettable evening. Purchase your table or tickets now. You fought with honor, you served with pride, and your sacrifices will never be forgotten. At Care Cremation and Funeral Service, we take pride in serving veterans and their families. Our way of honoring unforgotten heroes is by remembering your service to our country. Find out information on benefits you're entitled to at National Cemeteries. Arrangements can be made over the phone in the comfort of your home. Care Cremation and Funeral Service. With our on-site crematory, your loved one never leaves our care. I'm here to find my husband. You got me in love. The beehive just exploded. I'm not here for the foolishness. Come to the airport. This is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Welcome back to Let's Talk Kentucky. I'm Sherelle Roberts, your host and moderator. Here's the team, and joining us at the table is Celeste Lewis with Summer Nights in Suburbia. Hey! Hey! hey. 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 Okay, we have to comment on something. So, I promise, we do not color coordinate our outfits, but it happens. Lisa has on orange, Kim has on orange, Susan has on orange, I have on half orange, and Celeste has on orange! Yay. It's like... It's just meant to be. You were meant to be on the yes. show today. <laughs> Good. That's very nice. So welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So you are here to talk to us about Summer Nights in Suburbia, mm -hmm. which is just a really cool string of events that happened over in the Moon Dance Amphitheater in mm -hmm. Lexington. Mm -hmm. Tell us about it. Well, Moon Dance is located out at the Beaumont Center out at Harrodsburg Road, and it's just past New Circle Road. And it's a gorgeous amphitheater. A lot of people have been there, so mm -hmm. you probably know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about. But if you haven't been there, it's really worth the trip. It's beautiful. It is. So we all went there mm -hmm. a couple weeks ago for the, what was it, the Bluegrass Barbecue, barbecue. Festival. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. And Smiley. while we were there, we got to eat some food, and we got to mm -hmm. dance, and we were just being ourselves, <laughs> being silly. Um, mm -hmm. But that was just a one-time thing. Summer Nights in Suburbia is a string of events. Tell us what's the lineup. It is. We have, um, we started May 26th. That was our kickoff. And then we had a terrific opening night. It was wonderful. It's a very supported venue mm -hmm. and very loved by the neighborhood and way beyond. I mean, we have people from Woodford County and downtown and all over uh, that come there. And, and uh, this is our 10th year wow. of having this that? series. So the City of Lexington and Parks and Recreation support this free concert series, Summer Nights in suburbia for 10 years it's been wonderful and um, this tomorrow night June 9th we have Bedford so uh, we have always have a band and food trucks and big crowd it's fun it's Not too awesome. big, but very, but and it's well just attended. It's a chill kind it of is. environment. Yes. Bring a blanket. Mm -hmm. we, have, we have the food trucks, and we have uh, there's um, like tomorrow night we have Sandwich Man, and we have Takis is the uh, sweet. So we usually have a savory truck oh. and a sweet truck, oh. and then we have West Six Beer, and we have a Wise Bird Cider. So folks, that they're looking mm -hmm. on the screen here, can mm -hmm. we pop that back up really quickly? Uh, folks can see what the lineup mm -hmm. is uh, for the rest of the season. So you've got. R&B bands, you've got mm -hmm. country bands, mm -hmm. you have, I don't even know what a Baja Yeti yeah. is. I, you know, <laughs> but, I'm for it. <laughs> but they're a mix of, of, of music. Mm -hmm. uh, 
It is a, it's different here. genres. I will say it sort of skews, you know, rock and pop and sure. things like that. We actually finish the season with a really fun event every year that we just started last year. There is a Moondance Foundation. It's very supportive. It's a citizens organization for Moondance. And so they're going to be our finale this year. And it's all 90s. So we have two Ooh. 90s. Yes. I'm there. <laughs> yes. I love it. <laughs> it's really going to be fun. Oh, it's, my gosh. I'm so excited. There will be a costume contest. There will be a prizes, activities. It will be really fun. But the, the regular concert series is packed, and we have uh, Honey Child, which is one of the most yeah. popular bands in all of Lexington, and they just pack in a huge crowd, and everyone's up on the dance. There's a concrete apron out front, so mm -hmm. as you know, and everybody dances, and then the food trucks are just off to the left if you're facing the stage, and real close, and so you can grab some food, grab a drink, dance, sit down, lay in the grass, enjoy nice. yourself. Mm. Well, Celeste, we didn't even yeah. make it to the concrete. We were yeah. out in the grass area tearing it up, <laughs> so we're loving it. Totally okay, totally okay. You exactly. Know, what is your favorite part of being an organizer for this whole thing? Like, what's your favorite um, part of it? Well, I, I will say that one of, I, um, I'm also a visual artist here in Lexington and manage the Pam Miller Downtown Art Center. So yeah. one of the things I totally love, in addition to Moondance, is that Lexington, has more than its share of creative people, mm -hmm. artists, yes. musicians, yes. writers. Mm -hmm. So one of my favorite parts about doing the concert series is, are working with the bands. They are lovely, wonderful people who bring an incredible amount of creativity to our concert series. And Lexington has more than its share of really talented people. Yeah, and right. we get to showcase that. Mm -hmm. and, it's, and the other thing that's really wonderful that I get tons of feedback about is that it's free. Just come mm -hmm. and enjoy yourself. Yeah. Just yeah. come and have a good time. So if folks want to come out to this free concert mm -hmm. series, it's going to be a ton of fun. Where should they go? Online? Where can they visit yes. to learn more? Well, LexingtonKY.gov is um, uh, the Lexington's, all the activities that Lexington all does. And really, honestly, Lexington supports so many different activities yeah. that I got to say, you know, thanks to Parks and Recreation and city yes. government, they do a lot. We're one little part of it. But um, for our part, it will be under a Moondance tab. You can get all the information. We have a Facebook. Um, and so, and then the great thing about the Facebook also is weather updates. You know, Kentucky has its share of weird Ooh, which weather. Which we definitely need. Yes. Yes. Well, thank you, so Celeste. I, I try to get it on there if there's a weather update, but we're doing nothing but thinking of blue skies and beautiful times out there. So well, we're, not, you, even, we're, not, we're not even going to say the word. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to say it. Thank you, Celeste, so much. Everybody stay with us. We'll be right back. It wasn't until after they had done the, the surgery to remove all the toes that it really hit me. You see the commercials. You never put yourself in that person's shoes until you're there. You can quit. For free help, call 1-800-QUIT-NOW. K-A-T-S, cats, cats, cats. I'm Marty Casey with Cats Heating and Cooling. If your system stops cooling your home this summer, remember to call Cats for 24-hour emergency service. We know emergencies just don't happen during business hours. Cats will keep your system running smoothly, keeping you comfortable all year long. When you need us, we're just a phone call away any time of day. Cats proudly carries day and night HVAC system. K-A-T-S, Cats, Cats, Cats. Visit online or call today to schedule your free appointment. You deserve to say yes. These are my results. I am so happy. Yes to confidence. I'm so happy I just put this dress on that I haven't worn in over 10 years. Yes to a new shape. Look what Sona Bella did for me. Do you, do you see, do you see this? Yes to a new you. I'm Dr. Elena Vega. Imagine you could remove this much fat from multiple areas all at one time. Sono Bellows board certified surgeons use micro laser technology to safely target and remove your diet resistant fat cells for good. I have the flattest tummy that I've had in 25 years. I'm able to wear things that I never thought I would wear again. I can wear a little black dress. I feel sexy. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation and find out how you can get $250 off instantly. Call 1-888-273-9096 or go to sonobello.com. Everyone loves more of a good thing and Miss Moore was no different. More. So when she was injured, she called Morgan and Morgan. With more than $15 billion recovered, she didn't have to ask for more anymore.
everybody. Welcome back to Let's Talk Kentucky. I'm Sherelle Roberts, and it is time for What in the World is Trending, where we comb the internet every day to bring you the best of the best and the weirdest of the weird. This one's scary because it's something that actually could happen to any of us. A woman had to fight off a kidnapper who tried to steal her two-year-old baby while she was unpacking groceries from her car. Take a look at the video here. So you see the guy kind of run out from this blue truck, goes to her car, grabs the baby, oh, and is literally running off with the kid, uh, ranting and raving, Kim. Ranting and raving. What was he even? I, I, oh my gosh. I, he, he was, he's found to be mentally ill. That yes. He has an issue, obviously. But um, the wife and the husband were together. They were leaving the grocery store. This blue truck was following them. And she said, honey, this is a little weird. And he said, you're overreacting. Mm. Don't worry about that. The lesson here is trust your instincts, ladies. Yeah. Trust your instincts. If you feel like something is wrong, go with it. Yeah, and absolutely. And he was yelling, it's not your baby, it's not yeah. your the baby. The guy, yeah. Yeah. The guy was screaming, it's not your baby, to both of them. This is like to a both parent's, parents' worst nightmare. Worst nightmare. <laughs> it really worst is. Nightmare. But they were able to stop him. They, they were. And yeah. she had a knife to his throat, mm -hmm. to the man that took the baby, mm -hmm. and uh, she did, she chose not to kill him right. too. I thought that was really interesting because I mean she had to. She Sherelle, you yeah, had told us what she was thinking. She would. She, she made a quick calculation. I either can use my energy to hurt this man or to save my baby. Yeah, I'm saving my baby. Mm -hmm. Like it just yeah. gives me chills. Oh, yeah. golly. I know. So I mean, that one's that one's totally crazy. That is crazy. I just you know kudos to her for not going all the way and doing mm -hmm. it. But I mean, who would have blamed her if she did? Mm -hmm. I mean, no, I don't know. I would have done. I know. That, yeah. I don't know if. I could have made that split second decision like that. As I think a mother, I would though, <laughs> yeah. I mean, your mama bear yeah. instincts kick in. Exactly. Really yeah. Whew. So that's what's trending. Now we are wrapping up the show by highlighting a woman we're talking about. It's an outstanding person who's making a difference in her family and community. And today's woman we're talking about is Lynn Taylor Ty from Danville. She's the owner of the Blue Moon Insurance Agency, and she serves on a ton of boards in the community, the EKU Board of Regents, the Chamber of Commerce there in Danville and Boyle County. She does so many other things, providing leadership, helping out, making sure that her community is the best it can possibly be. So congratulations, Lynn Taylor Ty. You are a woman worth talking about. Congratulations. Right. Yeah. congratulations. Now listen, folks, we want to hear about more women in your lives. Go over to WTVQ.com. Go then to the Let's Talk Kentucky page and then click the link that says nominate a woman we're talking about. We want to hear about the amazing ladies yes. in your lives. Yes. Because women are doing so much. Well, that's it, everybody. Thanks so <laughs> much for tuning in. We will see you tomorrow, Friday. Yeah. Bye, everyone. See you. <laughs>